Hi, we are back and we are going to start a different place. We're going, we're back at the Duxbury system um, website and there are lots of things that you can download. If you look here, there's a PDF braille chart and if you watch the last video or the bonus video, I showed you the one that I liked. This is not it. <laughs> But there are some things that we're going to be looking for here. And one of the things that we're going to be looking for is something called SWIFT, which is a program that allows Microsoft Word and Duxbury to communicate. So like we've been doing before, we've just been copying and pasting, just like the informational session that I had the first time I used Duxbury. Um, just copy paste, copy paste or direct input, type it in there. But now this program that we're going to download in a second, this is something that allows, it's a Duxbury product, but it's an add-on for Word and it allows them to speak to each other. So we're going to go back to, <coughs> and it's, we're going to click here where it says download the free add-in, we like free, for Windows. And we're going to try this one. Oops. And we're going to go run. And we're just going to follow the prompts that come up that are going to tell us how to install this program. We're going to click agree. You should always read what it says before you agree. Then you're going to go next. We're going to continue again to follow the prompts. Okay, it's ready to install. We're going to go next. And it says that it has been successfully um, installed. Please use Windows Update to check for any critical updates. So we're going to close. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we don't need to restart the computer. If we do, we'll pause it so you don't have to go through all of that. But Okay, so we did have to restart our computer. And we're just going to open up a new document um, in Word. And now you'll see across the top, there's a new thing up here. And it says Braille. So say if we're going to type in, let's see. Something, just we're going to type in things, something in. Winter is coming. I'm going to go where it says Braille, and now I have some options. I can choose a template. I can open in Duxbury. I can emboss directly. I can print the Braille. Word styles lister. Options and health. So, help, excuse me. So, let's go to choose the template. And you have choices. You ha Now we have Banna. EBAE, we have Banna EBAE with Nemeth, get away, Banna UEB, and then Banna UEB with Nemeth. So this is just going to be literary braille. So let's go here. And look, now it's something different. It says that this is normal text, winter is coming. So when we click on braille, it's given us lots of different options. So we're going to come over to headings and we are going to center. So now this changed from normal to centered. And as you can see, winter is coming is centered. Now we're going to, when we go back, we're going to open in Duxbury. So, we save. so it's going to tell us that we have to save it first. Winter is coming, we'll save it. And then the program automatically opens Duxbury. And it's opened a new file. We didn't have to do anything else. We didn't have to select a template. It opened itself. And if you look, Winter is coming is still centered. Go to view, I'm gonna to go to codes. Remember we, we can see what codes are already in place without us having to do anything. Centered is there. We'll take that off. And then when we translate, again, winter is coming 
is centered. We don't have to do anything else. So imagine how easy it's going to be. We don't even have to worry about control C, copy, paste. This will, when we use Swift, it'll do it for us. Again, we're letting the program do its job and work for us. We'll get it um, in later lessons. We're going to um, learn more about Swift, but I just wanted to show you how to download it, how also it the possibilities of how it's going to work. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned anything, again, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to make sure you get the next lesson talking and delving more into Swift, please click subscribe and ring the bell notification that way you'll be notified as when it, as soon as we put up the next video and if you get a chance you can follow the link in the description below over to my website um, and there's more things that are in depth and there's a lot of resources that are over there so go check it out have a great day